I'll make a quick little video, real quick. I've had some people kind of ask me how this bud box still works, and I know I've made a video on it, but we'll just do another one. So I got these little calves in here. Oh, that's a few too many, but yeah. So we just just got these in yesterday. Uh, probably about noon. They were on a probably 14, 15 hour truck ride. It was 800 some odd miles. And so we let them rest and now we're gonna give them their round of Jackson. So I just come around this fence here and I, I got too many in here right now, but you get the idea. I got my chute opened up. They'll kind of fill themselves in pretty good. Come on. Hey. I might have it full. Yeah. I got it full. So. Do that. I could fit some more in there. But. I can typically get about eight, seven or eight in here, depending on their size. And then got to mine the mess where we uh, haven't gotten our shoot cleaned up since we got it started getting it dug out but we got to get our trash can back over here and get our all of our ear tags picked up we got most of them but there's a few starting to migrate so yeah and then what I do is I come along see if I can do this there we go and then I start at the back with them. But you get down. That's the only concern you have. Some of these southern calves get a little jumpy. Definitely have to watch your arm. They'll typically, it's better if you can fill it because then they won't. It's just a lot, a lot safer deal. They won't move around as much, but start at the back, work your way forward, and it's a pretty slick deal. And then I just let them out. But I've got this chute, I've got this alleyway opened up wide enough that, uh, you know, they can get turned around in there, but it's not a fight. You can get them, you can get them turned back around. And with these doors on the side, if I do have one that gets stubborn, I can just run them out. Now, I'm sure I'll have some kind of comment about how uh, I should be running them one at a time and animal safety, but I've got 120 of them here. And since I'm just doing the Jackson, that's all I'm doing, well, here uh, in about three or four days we'll give them we'll start in and work them and uh, ear tag them give them fly tags and wormer and that whole route implant them but uh see this works just works pretty slick as I say that I got two that turn around but uh yeah it's pretty slick deal It is, it, the one benefit to this, it's really cheap and it's really quick to build. Like if you're in, you're in a rush, this can be built in, uh, I mean it could be built in a day, but probably two days just to let your concrete harden. The one thing that we have found that we do need to do on this is since it is so open, when we have cattle out in this pen, th then we kind of start to have some issues with them flowing better because you know they, they can see these cattle out here and then they'll they just they won't want to go uh the other thing is if we have cattle in this pen waiting to come in here then they'll just stand right here and they, they'll want to go be with their buddies and not not flow um so we've we're gonna sheet this probably we're gonna sheet this one this one and that one i don't really see any need to sheet that one at all uh yet 
but we're gonna instead of welding steel up there right away we we've got some uh quite a bit of plywood left over from some forms and we're just gonna tie it on for right now and kind of see how the cattle flow with it if it if it does make a big deal then we'll come in and, and put a steel sidewall on uh the other thing that we kind of need uh because this doesn't always work i mean this a lot of it depends on the person who's doing it and and just kind of how the cattle can act uh, uh it would be nice and i think the problem is we'd have to hang it off this side is have another gate here where we can you know maybe just have it held up where we can swing it here uh, for some of the cattle who just absolutely will not go in there they just some of them I mean, we can get them in uh i've only i've only ever had one one cow that i could not get in here i mean just didn't matter what we did and i ended up uh <laughs> branding her out here in this so that that was kind of a rodeo but we just couldn't couldn't do it we've made it where sometimes we've had to take this gate here and and swing it over and swing that out and we really need to put like a chain on that and we've got them where they'll go in um but occasionally you just get something that just doesn't want to do it and and that's okay it's not a not an issue but it's it's pretty cheap and easy to build it's quick so it's it's nice enough one person can do a lot of work by themselves um and so like typically like you see how our sh we have our handles right here right now uh when there's two of us i swing these out here like while we're processing and one person will run the chute and the other one will bring them up but while we're doctoring or anything else like that we can swing this back in here you can open up the tailgate you can get the calf yourself bring it in and then you typically can you can catch it and do everything you need to so you can work everything one person one person can I mean I could I could brand all these cow these calves here today myself and it would take a while but you can do it and that's that's uh, the simplicity of it the whole thing and it just makes it a lot nicer now I would like to have a tub but you know this this is what's here and this is how we built it and it, it works so and these adjustable alleys are very nice i i really like them because we switch between cows and calves i mean weekly so it's a very nice thing to have so anyways just a quick little little video and i'm gonna get back to work so i'll catch you on the next one